America is struggling to shake off the recession. Public distrust of wealthy CEOs remains high. But more and more bosses are looking for radical ways to reconnect with their workforce in order to find out what's really going on in their companies. Each week, we follow the boss of a major corporation as they go undercover in their own company. Hi, I'm Richard Yamada, owner of Shelter Lodge. This is our 31st year of operation. And you know what really makes us successful is really our employees. So I thought, I need to get closer to my employees and find out exactly how hard their work is and, and see the lodge from their perspective. So I thought, what better way than to go undercover? Ben? Yeah, I'm Ben. Are you Yakitori, the new lodge assistant? Yakitori Shmirnov. All right. Here at your service. Today we're going to make fish boxes. The guests have been catching a lot of fish, so we have to make sure they have plenty of boxes to take their fish home. I want to make fish boxes. Okay, what we do is we put check baggage label here. Check baggage label here. 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 And here. And there. Then we switch to frozen label. Put label here. Put a frozen label there. There and there. Put a frozen label there. And there, I got it. We pass it to Matt. Okay. We do it again. Okay. Got to be fast. All right, fast. Okay, I got the boxes now. Okay. How's the boss here at Shelter Lodge? Who, Jackie? No, he's talking about Richard. Oh, we always thought Jackie was the boss because she, well, she kind of wears the pants, if, if you know what I mean. He's all right, I guess. Yep, that's us. Are you shish kebab? Uh, net, 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 net. Yakatori no. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Well, today we're preparing for bentos and musubis. So here's how you did it. There you, go. you gotta get nine piece out of one whole bit. Um, spam, cut it evenly. Mmm, you know what I'm I don't know about this guy. He says he works in the kitchen, but did you see that spam? I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't know how to cook rice. Yeah, that's good enough. Morning, man. Good morning. Grab a seat. Okay. Do you know who I am? Uh, yeah, you're Richard Yamada, the owner of this lodge. You may know me as Richard Yamada, but my other name is Yakutori Shmirnov. No. You remember that guy that showed up by the fish packing shed and helped you make those fish boxes? Yeah. That was actually me. I went undercover to find out how difficult the jobs were here at Shelter Lodge. And I found it was pretty hard. And that's why people may have a wrong impression of me. They think that I'm a slave driver. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change that image of me around here at the lodge. So I'm going to ask Kenji to lighten your load. And I'm going to have him make you a big fat raise. No way. I want people to really like me here. You are the best boss ever. Well, thank you very much for all your hard work. <coughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, oh, baby. Yeah. People thank are going to love me oh, now. We do. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Richard, your mod is the best. Jackie, psh, whatever. Hey, Chef Kenny. Hey, grab a seat. Do you know who I am? Yep, you're Yakitari. You clean up good. Well, actually, my name is Richard Yamada. I'm the owner of the lodge, and you're one of my employees. Really? Yeah, now, you taught me a valuable lesson this morning. I, you know, I, I went undercover to find out exactly how my employees uh, did, how, how hard their jobs were, and I found out cutting that musubi, that uh, spam for the musubis was a pretty difficult task, and you yeah. did well in training me. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I, as a uh, token of the appreciation for the job well done, I got you this automated spam cutter slicer. Really? Yeah. You're gonna let me use this? Yep. Thank you. Anything for my employees. Yep. Thank you. Oh, I love my job again. Spam cutter. Thanks, boss. You're the best. 
Hey Wade, what's up? I got you an iPhone. An iPhone? What is this for? It's to keep you up with technology, but there's a lot of stuff on there that can help you with your fishing. There's, uh, you can get tide tables, you can get weather reports, you can get nav charts, all kinds of cool stuff. But there's one feature that you really like, it's called Siri. It's like a person in your phone. She's in the phone? Yeah, and you, no you, can, way. you can talk to her and she'll answer you. You can ask her questions, she'll answer you. It's pretty cool. But just try it out, right? Just try all, it out. Right, okay. all right, all right. Let's try it out. Okay, I guess I gotta try this thing that Kenji said was so great. Hey Siri, what a fish day! You don't have any appointments on your calendar for today. Ah, come on! Hey Siri, how much gas should I put in my boat? Checking my sources. Would you like me to search the web for how much grass should I put in my bowl? Ah. Hey, how how deep the fish they biting? Let me check that. Would you like me to search the web for who did the first cake fighting? Ah. Siri, where's the bathroom? I gotta go now. <laughs> Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Ah, come on. Oh my god, Kenji's right. It does help me with my fishing. Oh, cousin, what kind is that? I'm Brandon Rux, and this is Filipino Factor. The stunts you are about to see were designed and supervised by trained professionals. They're extremely dangerous and are not to be attempted by anyone, anytime, anywhere. My name is Ben from Olympia, Washington, and I'm here to win it all. I'm Matt from Squim, Washington, and I'm here to get her done. I'm Kenny from the Philippines. I'm here because I'm hungry. Filipino Factor is back and crazier than ever. Tonight we have three contestants, three courses, and one winner. Filipino Factor! Welcome to Filipino Factor. This is it. You three contestants have been brought here from all over the country as you compete for one dollar. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Yes! Dollar? Yes! Yeah. 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 To win the dollar, you will have to complete three challenges. These challenges will test you both physically and mentally. If you are too afraid to attempt the challenge, you lose. If your contestant does better than you, you lose. Are you ready to see your challenges? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come on. For the first challenge, you must move six fish eyeballs using only your mouth from the table to your designated cup. For your second challenge, you have to walk over a plank above fish guts that have been fermenting in the sun for six days. For the third and final challenge, you will have to consume 10 raw shrimp heads. The first person to complete this task will be our winner. Go! Ben and Matt both have won, and Kenny, he's, he's, he's eating it. He's definitely going to lose this challenge. Wait a minute, is he shooting him? Oh my god, he made it! What a strategy! I can't believe it, another one! Oh, this kid is on fire! Ben's got two, oh working on his third. It my mouth. Oh, it popped right in his mouth. Matt's got three, working on his fourth. Not enjoying this stunt, but he seems to be getting through just fine. Now off to the planks. I can smell that fish guts from here. Matt's up first. Oh, he's a little wobbly, a little shaky. Oh, the smell you can see on his face. Oh, he made it though. Up next is Ben. He's wobbling. He's oh, and he's down and in. Oh, he's definitely gonna smell and feel that one tomorrow. Up last is Kenny. Smell like bugalog. Okay, yeah. whatever that is. And now they're off for our third and final competition: the shrimp heads. Oh, that's nasty. Soy sauce. Is that cheating? He's enjoying them. You are the winner of Filipino Panther! Yes! How does it feel? Good! This is cheaper than Balak! Wonderful! Wonderful! Well, here are your winnings! One dollars, oh, bro! Thank you! 
Man, you make that look good. This is good. Try make it. it. <laughs> <laughs>
노는 여자 이때다 싶으면 묶었던 머리 푸는 여자 가렸지만 웬만한 노출보다 야한 여자 그런 감각적인 여자 나는 선호해 점잖아 보이지만 놀때 노는 선호해 내가 되면 완전 미쳐버리는 선호해 근육보다 사상이 울통불통한 선호해 그런 선호해 아름다워 사랑스러워 그래 너 그래 바로 너 아름다워 사랑스러워 그래 너 그래 바로 너 지금부터 갈 때까지 가볼까 오빤 강남스타일 